This is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you how to use the new Casio 570EX calculator to solve the quadratic equation. All right, but before I go into the calculator here, I want you to understand what is the difference between the factorized and solve first. All right, so if the question asks you to factorize, basically what the question want is, they want you to leave your answer like, like two bracket like this, then you should be done already. So they just want you to leave your answer like this. However, if the question asks you to solve it, mean the question expect the final answer must be x equals to something else and then x can, yeah, something else. All right, so basically you need to find the answer of x. All right, so first thing is you must know what is the difference between factorize and solve it. All right, definitely we have a, a lot of different methods of factorizing. One of the most common way is you will need to draw a cross like this. All right, then the first term, which is the x squared, we're going to put here. And then the last term, which is the constant number, we're going to put here. And then the middle term we put over here. And then over here, this one is the multiply zone. So basically what you need to do is you just, you just want to multiply some number here in order to get x squared and minus 6. And then this one, I normally I call it um, additional, yeah, addition zone. So basically you're going to add it together. Okay, so here you we need to multiply them. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do it. Actually, it's quite simple. So if you want to if you want to get x squared over here, I know it's basically x multiply x, isn't it? Then I get x squared. But if you want to get 6 over here, uh, basically I have two choices here. The first choice is I can use 1 multiply 6 or I can use something like 2 multiply 3. All right, so over here, you kind of need to like choose like which combination you want to use. If you are not so good at factorization, you kind of need to do some try and error. But then because I know later I need to cross over multiply, I need to cross over multiply these two number. And then I add together, the difference must be 1x only. So over here, I ask myself, 1 and 6, the difference between these two number is 5. 2 and 3, the difference between them is 1. So over here, I want to get 1x, so I will choose 2 and 3. So I will choose 2 and 3 like this. So you just imagine like x multiply 3, you will get 3x. And x multiply 2, you will get 2x. In order to get negative 1x, so you have to ask yourself, should you put a negative for 2 or should you put a negative for 3 here or both? So over here, definitely I know I need to put a negative at 3 here because 2x plus negative 3x, you get negative 1x. So therefore, I will add a negative for it. If there's no sign here, it means plus. Okay, so then I will just take these two bracket. I will take this bracket. The first one is x plus 2. The second bracket, I will take over here. This one will be x minus 3. All right, this is how I do the factorizations. So if I want to solve it, then it's a different story. So if I want to stop, uh, solve it, right, first thing is I must, I must make sure this equation is equal to zero. So what I will do is I will move the positive six to the other side, make it equal to zero. Then only you can start to factorize. So x squared minus x minus six equals to zero. Okay, this one when it equals zero, we call general form of quadratic equation. Then only we do the factorization. And you realize it's the same equation with a both, right? So I already know the answer is x plus two, x minus three. All right, then I want to solve it. I have two bracket multiply each other. So this is what I will do is I will say it's x plus two equals to zero or x minus three equals to zero. Then I just want to find the answer of x. The first answer will be negative two. The second answer will be uh, negative three move to the other side plus three. So I get both of these answer. So, okay, right now I can use the calculator to check my answer definitely. Okay, but I also can use the calculators uh, to help me to do the factorizations because in the exam, you don't need to show this working unless it's uh, is the paper two? Maybe you need to show a little bit here. But if you are SPM student, definitely I don't think you need to show this working. You just need to show the process of factorizations here. Okay, I teach you how to find the answer, uh, how to check the answer first and find the answer definitely. So you just go to menu and then you look for equation. Do you see equation? Over here, you look for polynomial, which is number two. 
And then over here, they ask about polynomial degree, which is the highest power of x here. So at your equation, the highest power of x will be 2, right? So your highest power will be 2. So this calculator can up to like power of 4. Okay, you're not going to do power of 4 in SPM. Like 3, maybe sometime you will see it, but most likely it's only power of 2. Because power of 2 we call quadratic. All right, then you can see the general equation A, B, and C here. A will be the number beside the x square. So the number beside the x square here is 1, isn't it? Because you don't see any number here, basically means 1. B will be the number beside the x. So number beside the x will be negative 1. So it'll be negative 1. And then last number over here is negative 6. You cannot take positive 6 now because when the number is positive 6 here, it doesn't equal to 0 yet. So you cannot use it. You must make it equal to 0, then only decide your C value. So it's negative 6. And then the calculator will find the answer for you. X equals to 3 and X equals to negative 2. Okay, like just now I say, this calculator can actually help you to do the factorization. But how? Okay, just in case, in the exam, you do not know the methods of factorization. And then the question asks you to factorize this equation. And then you, you might be panicked a little bit. And then you remember, I actually teach you how to use this calculator. Then you go to the menu and then you look for the equation. You go for the polynomial and then you choose power 2 here. All right, and then you know what is A, B, C. You just insert, oh, A is 1, B is negative 1, and C is negative 6. And then you get the answer here. The answer tell you what? X equals to 3 and x equals to negative 2. So what you can do is, you right now what I want you to do is you work backwards. Th this is what you will do because you want to get some bracket like this, right? So in order to get the bracket, right, we kind of need to make this thing equal to 0 like this. Do you see? We make it equal to 0. So what I want to do is I will move the positive 3, go backwards. Then I will get minus 3 equals to 0. And then I will move the negative 2, go backwards. So I will get x plus 2 equals to 0. Do you see that? Definitely in the exam, you don't need to show this working here. I just like, teach you some tricks. Okay, so basically, you put insert these two value inside your bracket. Then you done factorize just uh, by just using the calculator here. All right. What if in the exam, you see you have the complicated equation like this? Like this one, 6x squared plus 11x minus 10. So if you want to factorize yourself, it's kind of hard here. But if you use a calculator to factorize, let's say I use a calculator, I change my A and B, A, B, C value. My A is 6, my B is 11, my C is negative 10. All right, so I insert my A, B, C into the polynomial here. All right, and then I get a fraction. If you get a fraction, something like x equals to 2 over 3, and x equals to negative 5 over 2, which is the fraction like this. If you straight away say x minus 2 over 3 equals to 0, and x plus 5 over 2 equals to 0, yeah, your teacher know you actually get this from the calculator. So you, you won't get the mark of factorizations. So this is what you need to do. If you get the fraction like this, you cannot straight away do like this, or else you will not get any mark. So we still want to make it equal to zero, but we want to do the step by step. So the first step is for the fraction here, you, ha you have divide three, isn't it? So to divide three, you need to move it first. So divide three, move to the other side, you get multiply three. So after that, then only you move your two to the other side, plus two move to this side will be minus two. All right, so same idea. If you have divide two, you move to the other side, you get multiply two. And then you have minus 5, you move to the other side, you get plus 5 equals 0. So therefore, this 2 is the bracket I want. So then the question asks me to factorize. Yeah, I can factorize. It's 3x minus 2 and then 2x plus 5 equals 0. And then the question asks me to solve, solve it, right? Then I will show like, okay, I know how to solve. 3x minus 2 equals 0 or 2x plus 5 equals 0. And then x will equal to 2 over 3. And then x equals to negative 5 over 2. Then you will get the full mark by, by doing 
this matters. So, so yeah, so over here, so what I want you to understand is if you get the answer in fraction, make sure you don't move the whole fraction to the other side, become minus like that. Because if you do like that, your, your teacher definitely know you'll copy the answer from the calculator. But if you do the method I teach you just now, yeah, definitely you can get the full mark for factorization and solve it. Okay, before I end this video, let's have a look at the uh, exam type of the questions. Because in the exam, you have something like this. The question will not tell you it's a quadratic equation. You kind of need to like know it by yourself. Okay, so the question tell you, you have a triangle. It's a right angle triangle. And then you have all the three lengths over here. And the question asks you to find the length of AC. So they ask about what is this length. So this kind of question is considered very hard because you don't have any equation here. And then you need to form the equation by yourself. So what you can do over here is, you ask yourself, if I want to form the equation, is there any e formula you learn is about right angle triangle? About right angle triangle, we learn about Pythagoras. Because what? If I have the right angle triangle, right? If this is A, B, and C, I know A square plus B square will definitely equal to C square. This is what we call Pythagoras, theory, uh, Pythagoras theorem, isn't it? So therefore, what I will do is, I will apply this Pythagoras theorem into these questions. So, okay, my A is 9, right? So I will say 9 square plus, and my B is 2x, isn't it? 2x square. The M over here stand, uh, for meter uh, is not the algebra M, okay? It's just like meter, like CM, like KM. All right, so 2x square will equals to x plus 9 square. So what I want to do now is my objective is I try to solve this equation after i solve it already i know what is the answer of x then i will plug my x back into the uh, ac here to find the length of ac all right then i'm going to expand this one quickly so this one i will get 81 plus 4x squared square for both all right then will equals to this one expand it is x squared plus 18x plus 81 all right so then i have 81 minus 81 gone ready then over here i have x squared Okay, I want to get a positive uh, x squared. So what I will do is I will move my x squared to the other side, become 4x squared minus x squared, and then minus 18x equals to 0. All right, then over here, I have something like 3x squared uh, minus 18x equals to 0. All right, then I can just like factorize it myself. So yeah, so I can factorize out the 3x this one will get x minus 6 equals to 0. And then like this, the question trying to tell me like, okay, 3x equals to 0 or x minus 6 equals to 0. And then what I will do last is I find the answer of x equals to 0 or x equals to 6. All right. And then sometimes I worry about my answer. So what I will do is I will just insert the, uh, the whole thing into the calculator to double check my answer. So I go for polynomial, degree I choose 2. All right, then I, I know my a is 3. So, and then I know my b is negative 18. And you realize I don't have any c value. So I just insert 0 as my c value here. And then the calculator will tell me 0, uh, 6 or 0. Okay, so yeah, 6 or 0. So 6 or 0. So I know both of my answer is correct. But this is not my final answer, right? Because this question asked me to find the length of AC. So since I know x can be either 0 or 6, then you have to ask yourself, is it possible x equals to 0? Yeah, if you look at the AC, it's still possible because you sub the 0 into the AC, you still get 9 meter. But if you sub the 0 into the uh, BC over here, you get 0. That's not possible the length of BC is 0. So therefore, the length of BC tell me x cannot be 0, so I will just reject it when x equals to 0. I will only use this answer. So therefore, my AC is equals to 6 plus 9 equals to 15 meter. This is my final answer. I hope you find this video helpful to you. If you are interested to get this calculator, I will share a Shopee link at the description below. The link will bring you to the Casio official store. So for right now, the Casio Malaysia are doing some promotion. Whoever want to get this calculator from their official store, they will free you a 
Casio L file. I believe you know what is Casio L file. Basically, it's a plastic file which you can easily insert some paper here. Besides that, Casio Malaysia also will give you another 5 ringgit discount as long as you key my voucher code here. I also will provide you a step-by-step -step guide here. So in order to use the voucher, first you need to go in the Shopee website and then at the search button over here, you just type Casio. You should be able to see something like search Casio shop. You click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio official store and then click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio scientific calculator over here. Just in case you cannot see, you can go into here, search in shop over here, you just tap 570EX and then the Shopee website will actually bring you to the calculator and then you click on it and then you just click buy now and then over here there's two places for you to insert your voucher code first place is over here you can see the more voucher the second place will be over here the platform voucher okay the platform voucher is for the voucher uh, provided by shopee and then this voucher is provided by casio malaysia and then over here you can insert the voucher code i provide which is the casio map and then you just click on apply i already apply so you can see like firing it off minimum spam of 70 ringgit so after that you should be able to see the price from 79 reduced to 74 if you have any question feel free to post at the comment section below or else i will see you guys in the next video bye bye